Good morning children and welcome to new video of bio why do we fall ill every person has a desire to live long but it is very necessary to live well you have already studied that all living beings are made up of cells and each cell various chemical reactions take place life is the result of these activities in an organism as we have learned organs or tissues perform a specialized activity all activities are interconnected to each other any any alteration in this specific way can create health problems in the first chapter chapter we have studied about cells the cells are the basic structural and functional unit of living organisms cells are made up of many complex substances like carbohydrates proteins fats lipids etc similarly our body also has tissues organs and organ system there are several specialized activities which keep on going all the time in these parts for example the heart beats to pump blood to all the body parts the lungs beat to exchange gases the kidneys filter the blood and separate urine and brain things all these activities are interconnected if our heart stop beating even for a while the blood circulation will stop thus the various parts of our body will not get nutrients and oxygen this will adversely affect our body likewise if our kidneys stop filtering the blood poisonous substances will start accumulating in the body under such conditions the brain will not be able to think properly so for all such interconnected activities body requires energy and also requires regular supply of raw material from outside the body in other words regular supply of food is necessary to the body so that essential components are provided to the cells for proper working of the tissues and organs anything that prevents proper functioning of cells tissues and organs will lead to lack of proper activity of the body as we have all heard of the earthquakes in latur bhuj kashmir etc other cyclones that attacked the coastal regions thinks of as many different ways as possible in which people's health would be affected by such a disaster if it took place in our neighborhood i will tell you the following are the ways in which people's health would be affected when the disaster may be earthquake or cyclone is actually happening or immediately after it has happened in the neighborhood these includes number 1 immediate health problems number 1 physical injuries loss of blood and fractures of bones number 2 disrupted food water electricity transport and health services cause hunger thirst weakness and aggravation of injuries number 3 mental trauma due to loss of family members and also of movable and immovable property number 4 even when relief operations reach in the site it takes time to take care of everyone 
Subsequent health problems include number one, permanent deformities in some people. Number two, after effect of contamination of food and water resulting in a number of infectious diseases like cholera, jaundice, diarrhea, etc. Number three, diseases caused by overcrowding in temporary shelters, cough, cold, tuberculosis and pneumonia. Number four, depression, anxiety and mental trauma persist for long time. Number five, increase in number of vectors and pests leading to many epidemics such as malaria, plague, dengue and filariasis, etc. So children, our health is a resource for our individual function as well as for our society. A healthy lifestyle can provide a meaningful life. The modern science has dramatically increased human awareness of health and diseases. As we have learned, any disturbance in the structure and function of any organ or any part of our body can make us fall ill. It may be caused due to attack of germs, lack of nutrition or due to poor public health services. Since all the activities of our body, organs are interconnected, any disturbance in the proper functioning will lead to poor health. Now, second topic is health and its failure under which we will discuss about the significance of health. As we use the term health many times in different ways. For example, my grandmother's health is not good. A person remarks, this is not a healthy attitude. We may even talk about healthy climate of an area or a town. Then, what is meant by the word health? When we consider the first statement, the term health implies the idea of being well or functioning efficiency. For our grandmother, being able to walk around easily is being well and not being able to do so is being unwell or unhealthy. Understood children? Second statement implies the healthy attitude is being interested in some particular work with positive feeling while not being interested is called the opposite. In third statement, we are referring to the environmental conditions that are congenial for disease-free, happy life. Thus, we can define health as a state of being well enough to function physically, mentally and socially. The World Health Organization WHO in the year 1948 has defined health as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely an absence of disease or infirmity. In other words, WHO recognizes three dimensions of health. They are number one, physical health, mental health and social health. Physical health or physical dimension means it refers to the normal structure of the body and its functioning. There are several tests by which the state of physical health can be determined. Mental health implies harmony between the individual and its surrounding. A mentally sound person is free from tension 
anxiety etc and therefore performs his function in a better way in his environment where he lives unlike physical health it is difficult to assess the mental health so children mental health cannot be assessed while physical health can be assessed through the several tests now we'll talk about the social health as we know man is a social animal he lives and works with other people in the society where he lives a person is said to be socially healthy if he maintains good relations with others a person is socially healthy if he has a good job a good house a happy family good neighbors and good friends that's all for today's video children thank you and have a nice day